Welcome in everybody to this week's episode of Bolton Sports Talk. I'm your host Brian Rathbone of the Bolton. And on today's episode, we have Bend High freshman pitcher. Well, she just finished up her freshman year, Addison Fisher, who put together probably one of the better uh, freshman softball years in the country. Uh, just just a twenty-minute conversation about the past year softball, all that fun stuff. Um, so anyway, here's Addison. She is Addison Fisher, just wrapping up her freshman year at Bend High, was the pitcher for arguably the best softball team in the state. I wouldn't bet against them. And is the winner of a lifetime supply of Gatorade by being named Gatorade Softball Player of the Year in Oregon last week. Addison, how stoked are you about never having to buy Gatorade again? Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I actually didn't know I got Gatorade. Wait, is that actually real? <laughs> um, no, that was, okay. that, that was a I joke. Got, um, okay. Uh, no, I'm, it's uh, been really exciting. I, it's been an exciting week just to like, I never thought I'd be at this point, you know, like I, um, yeah, I, I'm just really excited to be here and I'm excited to see what the future holds. So were you, were you just kind of surprised by the kind of the year that you had and obviously winning, winning this award last week? Um, I mean, I wasn't really surprised with how good, um, the Bend High team was like we we kind of knew we were going to be good um I was definitely surprised when I got that award because I knew that um a lot of the finalists were really good players and like they were also really good people I was I was honestly I was surprised to get that email at seven in the morning last uh what was it Friday but um uh I'm just excited that um y'all this is happening even in this like year that was really hard with COVID and everything so it just shows up, you just get a notification on your phone, like, hey, you're. Yeah, well, actually, Coach T, uh, the coach at Ben High, texted me and said, hey, uh, just got some really good news. Congratulations. I'm sure you've heard. And I, I had no idea. So I was like, guys, everyone check your emails. So we all looked and then, yeah, that was, I came back inside. I had to go out to the car and my mom was sitting there. She was like, hey, you just won. <laughs> So you don't get a lifetime supply of Gatorade, but if you I know, were, I'm upset. I was, I was excited. I, I, now, now I feel bad. Um, it's okay. <laughs> what, what, what would be like maybe your like top three Gatorade flavors? They just be like, all right, oh. I'll always have this in, in stock. Um, lemon lime. Good choice. Always. Um, the blue one. The the um like the the really good blue one. And then probably purple. I, that's a controversial one. But yeah, pur purple's polarizing, but yeah, uh, it, it's also fun that you know you just go with with what color and not. Yeah, well, I don't the know actual flavor. Exactly. <laughs> um, is there any we'd be like, hey, keep those keep those away? What, what, what what's your least favorite color? My least favorite. Oh. <laughs> that's a hard one. I like them all. Um, the white one. I don't really like the white one. The one that's uh, the white cherry or whatever. I don't okay. understand. <laughs> yeah, that one's a... Uh, I don't mind that one, but it's definitely... I don't like the red. The red's my least favorite. Yeah, the red. You always get the little ring on your mouth. <laughs> well, I got really sick off like drinking like a red drink one time. So, like, oh, no. When I was like yeah. 10. And so since then, just like red, red drinks and me just like... I don't want to, I don't want to drink them. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about softball and why we're here and not debate Gatorade drinks uh, or Gatorade flavors. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're the only freshman to, to win this award, you know, for, of, of, of all the 50 states, of all, of all the softball players. Um, you're coming off a, a, a year with, with Bend High where you guys go 18 and one and are like, are considered, you know, the, the best team in the state and, and whatnot in a year without a without a state tournament um looking back on the, on the last spring what are you like most proud of of what uh you and your team was able to accomplish um i was honestly most proud of how well our team got along um because i've heard a lot of teams don't get along that well and we had just like a really natural chemistry that was just it was really fun to be around those girls every day and it didn't it um i was always excited to see them like that was always the highlight of my so I was really, I was just excited that like, I would go get to see like my best friends every day. Mm. 
And I know you guys, you know, did a lot of uh, kind of cool stuff throughout throughout the last uh, you know year because you know obviously you didn't have a well you would have been an eighth, it would have been an eighth grade but you know there wasn't a high school season you know last spring um, that you guys did you know some summer stuff um, but then you know there's this kind of just like this long stretch where you just like are unsure of what's uh, what high school softball is going to look like. You kind of you know walk us through what like that kind of whole experience was what, what was kind of like of like working for something or working towards something that you just don't know if it's going to show up or not. Well, so we had like optional workouts throughout the summer, and um, I just remember because I was really close with a lot of girls that were freshmen uh, the year that uh, COVID kind of wiped everything out. So. Um, I just remember like just not knowing what was going to happen and we had we had those optional summer workouts and we had like one of those we had a camp that was a few days long and um and going back to school in september it was uh we were all online and so we had no idea what was going to go on but we were still practicing at the field every day um it was it was kind of weird not knowing if we would even get a season but it was still um it was again it was still so fun to like see everyone and, just have a good time because we had like a water balloon fight we had we just tried to have fun because we like it was so like strange not knowing what was going to happen especially with like osa and how strict they normally are and so like a lot of the times it was like we just didn't know like we got so many notes from everything and like i just remember the day when they told us we had to start wearing masks when we were outside playing softball and we all thought it was the craziest thing ever but um yeah it was it was just weird not knowing yeah, I bet. I, it's been kind of weird just trying to like kind of think of like, oh, how, how would I kind of, you know, handle this or how would, you know, how, how would I, you know, if, if I was, you know, back in high school, how I would have dealt with it. And I want to say like I would have handled it well, but I think I know myself well enough to know that probably wouldn't have been been the case. Um, so anyway, uh, when did you kind of get into softball? When, when did you start playing and so my mom was like uh, she was always like a role model for me she played softball like she played for a year in college she played all throughout high school and so I just remember we went out and played catch and that's kind of that's just what I remember like playing wanting to go out and play catch with my friends every day in the front yard and so then I remember the first time I was on an actual team it was just it was so fun like I just remember it was I was just like so excited to go out and get dirty and just like just have a blast, you know, hitting balls on tees and stuff. And, um, that's just kind of, that's kind of how it all started. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what age was that when you were like, you're like, Hey, let's go play was, catch every day. I was, Oh my gosh. I was probably seven in first grade. Okay. Yeah. And, and so when did softball just kind of become like a, like the, the focal point for, for you. And like, when you start like taking it like really kind of seriously. Um, I was in sixth grade go or fifth grade going into sixth grade. Um, that was when I started playing for the travel team I play for now. Mm -hmm. And um, I just remember because I'm a very competitive person. And so I kind of, I, it went, it, it was a switch from like just going out and having fun to where being competitive and competing with good teams was where I started to have fun. And so um, that was uh, almost four years ago now, but um, yeah, going into sixth grade, I really started to take it seriously. Um, it was, it's, it's fun. I love competing with people. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you joined this, you know, travel, this, uh, it's, it's a travel team, I yes. you said. Okay, so you joined this travel team. You're all sudden, you know, playing with all these, you know, really competitive softball players where they're, you know, probably, you know, a lot like you, where they're like, hey, I want to, you know, get really good at softball and I am good at softball. When, when you first like kind of joined the team, did you, were you like nervous at all? Like, oh man, or did you like kind of feel like, you know what, I can, I can hang with these, with these girls? Well, I remember at tryouts, I was so nervous. I, it was, I was so scared. And then I just put on my glove and started playing catch and like all the nerves went away. And I just like started to have fun. And, uh, and I immediately, I just clicked with all those girls and I, I still talk to all of them. Like they're, I, they're all, those girls too are like my best friends. So um, yeah, I just, you, you can't be nervous around these girls because they're so like welcoming and they're always 
we always have fun and we all like find fun and working hard and getting better. So how many, how many softball games do you, do you play in a year? Oh my gosh. Too many to count. <laughs> Are we like talking like more than 50? Probably we play, well, in the summer we play four week long tournaments and then we have, we kind of do scrimmages and we do, uh, we do some like local tournaments where we just invite some teams and um, yeah, we play, we play a lot of games and then including the high school season, we played 19 games this year. So that plus 19. <laughs> okay. Um, so where's been some of the, you know, cooler places that softball's, softball's taking you? I've gone to Florida. Um, we go to Colorado every year. It's always fun. Um, I just went to Arizona and Utah for the first time. That was interesting. And I always love going to Southern California too. It's always so fun to play down there. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where we always play. Some, uh, last summer when everything was shut down, we ended up going out to Boise and play. And that was fun. Okay. Can, can you just kind of tell us like how the uh, talent level is different from like different areas? Where, where do you think has like, just like the, the, the best like players where? Southern California and okay. Texas, because they can go out and play games every single day of the year. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they always just have so many talented girls coming out of the, those areas. And, yeah. So it's always like, fun to play teams from there too. You just kind of like look at your you know schedule for the for the weekend or the tournament. And you're like, oh man. I you always get to play good teams like that. I um, I always enjoy it because it's it's like competition at the highest level. You know, mm -hmm. like I always, I always get excited seeing those teams from California and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Cause you know, if I, if I do bad, then I know what I need to work on. But if I do good, I'm like, yes, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no, that, that totally makes sense. Um, yeah. <laughs> how, how, how do you, you and your team usually kind of hold, hold up against, you know, those teams from, you know, the, the Texas's and the Southern California's have it. Normally we do pretty good. Um, we, I mean, it's hard to really say because I, I play on an 18U team and this is the first year I've, <laughs> I've played on like a team that uh, with all these girls that are, you know, going to graduate. But um, we we normally do pretty good. Um, we play these teams all, a lot. So, um, you know, we kind of know what they're like and kind of what to expect. But um, normally we do, we do well. Only a few times we've gotten like absolutely blown by that. But <laughs> But what's the hardest anyone's ever like hit you? Like what? Oh, I don't know, want to talk about like what your worst game, but I mean you you had this you know year where like you're almost untouchable. Is it very often that you know some some team just kind of gets on you? Oh uh, yeah, it, it happens a lot. But uh, I'm lucky I have a really good defense behind me, which I'm so grateful for. But um, we uh, the heart. I just remember so the year before last year when I was in when I was in seventh grade, like the summer between seventh and eighth grade, I remember going out to Colorado and it was with an older team. And I just remember we were playing, so we were playing this really good team. My coach was like, okay, Addison, you're pitching. And I didn't even make it out of the first inning. I got, they scored probably 10 runs and I, I had to get pulled out in the first inning because we, I just, we couldn't make it out. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was, that was probably the worst pitching experience of my life. But, um, I just remembered I like then and there I was like that is never happening to me again. <laughs> so, like, yeah. What do you, what do you kind of take away from 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 a game like that where it's just like you know what this team's just they're just kind of crushing me. What what do you kind of take people, away from a game like that and how do you kind of get better from that? I mean, you also have to recognize that people are going to have bad days. Like it just happens. It happens to Olympians all the time. But like uh, you just have to remember that like you just have to keep working hard and you can't really get frustrated with yourself because you like, you just need more work. Like it's not something it's not, the world's not going to end over it. Like it's just a game. Um, but you know, it's whether it's like hitting your spots with pitches or, you know, getting your pitches to break a certain way. It's just, um, you kind of learn about it like in the moment. And you, luckily I have really good coaches too, that I can get feedback from. And um, as one of my coaches like to say, the hitters never lie. So if you're getting hit, there's obviously a problem. So like that's, um, you just kind of got to learn from that, just however you can. Yeah. Um, there was this one time in baseball, I just got lit up one time in an all-star game and it was just like, that was just kind of like the end of 
and end up pitching for me. So good, good to see that you're able to, to rally and have a, a little more mental toughness. Um, were you always, were you always a pitcher? Were you always just like, you know, from early I, on? When I was younger, I actually wanted to be a catcher. Um, but that didn't really last long because I got, I just got beat up, but, um, and I ended up being too tall. So everyone told me I was too tall to be a catcher. Um, but I also wanted to be a shortstop, but I, I started pitching when I was probably like two years after I started playing. So when I was nine, so actually I haven't been pitching for that. Actually, but, uh, yeah, that's. But then I remember I looked up to Sheridan Hawkins, who played at Oregon, and Pat Osterman, Monica Abbott, and that was, those were kind of my role models growing up. And mm -hmm. How do you kind of get better at pitching? Like, what, what, what's been kind of the, the, the key um, to, to getting better to like kind of where you're at now? Well, at this point, I'm just working on really um, just being able to pinpoint my spots, like being able to hit them 100% of the time. And, playing with spin to get balls to break a certain way, right? So if I throw a rise ball, I can I can change it. So it kind of tails up and in or like up and out, you know? So I just kind of play with that kind of stuff and just work on hitting my spots consistently. And uh, I've just been working on getting more speed on my pitch. So, you know, using my legs, engaging them and engaging my core more and stuff like that. So that's kind of, you. it changes by like what season it is. Like you don't want to make super big changes in, all, or, or in the, like, in the summer, but uh, yeah, right now I'm just working on pitches and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. So there's a uh, facing a tough batter. You got two two strikes on them. What what sign are you hoping the, the catcher gives you to, to get to get the strike out? Right now, my favorite pitch to throw is a rice ball. I I love making people look stupid on the rice ball because they're just they're just hacking at it. And um, yeah, I like throwing rice ball inside. <laughs> And rise ball, that's just like how it sounds, you know, starts low and then just ends up, up up in the zone. Yeah. Normally you throw it like right at like right right at the spot where it's like, okay, I'm gonna hit this out, but then it just breaks up and then you know, touch it. <laughs> All right, here, here here's a scenario for you. Um you're more than more than just a pitcher. Six home runs this year, batted like my notes a five seventy four, not bad, which isn't bad. It's actually really, really good. Um, how does the at bat go between Addison the pitcher and Addison the batter? I actually think about this a lot, and I feel like I'd strike out against myself. Okay. <laughs> um, I uh, if I was pitching against myself, I would throw myself all inside drop balls, and then probably a rise ball to you know make myself look extra dumb. And as a hitter, I would just be closing my eyes and hoping I hit the ball. <laughs> okay. It's a, it's a very honest answer. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, if you're the batter, what are you hoping? What, what, what are you hoping for from? I would be hoping I throw myself outside. Uh, or I would be hoping that I miss my spot and just miss down the middle with like a neat pitch. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would be scared to hit against myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. <laughs> yeah well, like what, what are you what are you uh like touching on the radar gun right now well my high speed is 72 miles an hour um but consistently i've been throwing uh anywhere from like 66 to 69 miles an hour. and that's from like what what, what what is it 48 feet away what's the uh, 43, feet. 43 feet away so even, even closer than i thought so I mean, you, you can do the math on what that would be in terms of like, you know, you know, seeing like a baseball, you know, for the, for the listeners out there. Um, well, Addison, I'm going to cl close out just, you know, this, you know, last question. We really appreciate you, uh, you know, taking the time, um, you know, really kind of a big coming out party for you, you know, this, this freshman year, you know, playing on a great team, uh, all state, you know, pitcher, Gatorade player of the year. How do you kind of improve, you know, for, or what are you kind of hoping to improve between now and like your start of your sophomore year? Um, well, I'm obviously naturally going to get a lot of reps playing this summer, but um, I just have to keep doing what I'm doing and kind of just trust the process and know that um, 
I'm just a really, I like to work hard and I enjoy working hard. So um, I just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Is there any kind of like specifics, like, you know, I want to be better, like locating a certain pitch or I want to be a, a better hitter. So I'm not scared to face me in, in, in a hypothetical at bat. Uh, well, as, I'm going to say this right. I like hitting more than I like pitching, which is kind like of hitting by more but, than you like pitching. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm just going to keep getting better and I want my batting average to be better next season. I, yeah, but, um, I just think I just, I think a lot, so I just a lot of it is mental. So I just kind of you know, stop thinking and just play softball. That's kind of how I'm going to get better for myself. All right, well, Addison, I really appreciate you uh, you taking the time, and uh, it, was, it was a really fun conversation. Um, good luck that you know this summer, and we'll uh, I'm sure we'll talk again sometime soon. Yeah, for sure. All right, you have a good one. You too. Thanks everyone for making it this far into the show. And thanks again to Addison for joining the show as well. Um, you can find uh, this podcast on iTunes and Spotify on the Bolton's YouTube channel and on its website. Uh, so thanks again, everyone for joining and we'll be back again next week.